If you guys are looking for some coins to get the best FIFA 18 squads, then check out MuleFactory.com. They're the cheapest site I've found for coins. They deliver in five minutes. And if you use TGC Kurt 5 at checkout, you get 5% off your order. Check them out with the link down below now. What's up guys, Curtis here and welcome to a brand new FIFA 18 video. Today, we're going to be looking at a kind of a tutorial kind of thing about how you guys can get better at finishing on FIFA 18. Now, I feel like at the moment, everyone is going mad on Twitter. The hype has been that it's just really hard to score goals on this year's FIFA. Now, I personally haven't been finding that the case. I feel like every game I play in, there's like at least, I, I usually score four goals a game. I'm not saying I'm good because I'm really not. I'm not good. I'm not that great at this year's FIFA. But I'm not struggling to score goals at all. So I'm going to give you guys a little tutorial. Only going to be like five minutes long. We're going to look for a load of different goals. I'm going to give you guys a bit of advice on how I found it easiest to score goals in this year's FIFA. Now, typically... Um, the, the, way, the start of the game, when the game first came out, if you got the ball into the box, you scored. Whether that was a finesse shot, a chip shot, whatever you did, that ball was going in the back of the net. Now, since the, the update, the, the finesse shots don't really work that well. You kind of have to position yourself really well to be finishing, unless you do what I'm doing in this video. Now, I'm sure you've seen a bunch of them happen in the background, and it's exactly the same as what was ridiculously overpowered last year. Now, if you haven't worked it out, that's right, it is the driven ground shots. They were amazing last year, and they're just as good this year. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to break it down to be a little bit slower. I'm going to stop it. I'm going to show you guys when best to use it and how effective it is. You'll see sometimes when I score in the most ridiculous positions, but as you can see here, what you want to do in this situation, you've got a bit of space. When you have the bit of space, you knock the ball as far in front of you as you possibly can. Before you strike the ball, which you'll see in the bottom corner as well, I have put the power bar up to around three full bars. What you do with this is you drive it up to about three bars and then you instantly press shoot again. So I'm sure you guys know how to do that. It's the driven shots, but you need it nice and powerful this year. And then not you don't aim it in the bottom corner like you used to because it always seems to go past the, the post now. You aim it straight down the throat of the goalkeeper. As you can see here, you're going basically the way I try and do it is I aim it to basically run along his feet. If you do that, almost always it goes into the back of the net. Now this situation with this one, he goes straight past the goalie, he falls to his feet, he can't get down and save it. Now this happens just so much. You're going to see some of these goals. The ones when you throw on goal, it's great because if I'm here, I know I've scored. I slow down a little bit there, I run it along the goalie's feet and it goes in the bottom corner every single time. If you aim for the bottom corner... You're missing. I feel like if you aim for the bottom corner, it hits the post or rolls past this year. It's not as easy to be as pinpoint, but if you put it down the goalie's throat, almost all of these are really close to the goalie, and you'd think you should be able to get to it. But it's hit so hard and so low that he can't react to get down to it and makes such a big difference. Now, once again, Neymar is going to do it. The goalie, you see the goalie has almost the same animation every time. He does this thing with his feet every single flipping time but that's not the only time it's useful you don't have to be throw on goal like I was in that situation now this one pretty similar there's going to be a lot of goals like that but you'll see a couple of clips as well where you're just stood in the box with players all around you completely surrounded as long as you can get the shot away it's going to go in the back of the net now these they just always go in if you do it right you're never ever gonna let yourself down and it is the most consistent thing for me in terms of getting wins, I've had games now where I'll have five shots, score three of them, and my opponent will have 15 shots. It's so effective if you're not creating too many chances. This one here, Mick, uh, no, Aguero was kind of pushed off the ball, off balance, still finish it. There's a clip coming up, I think, in a second as well, where I'm just in the box. It's come from a corner, basically, and dropped to a player. He's kind of in the middle of nowhere, but still manages to get the shot away. It's crazy. Now, this one was a little bit lucky. I messed it up there. I did it too far across. Don't aim for the bottom corner. I can't keep saying it. But yeah, it really is as simple as you... I think this might be the clip I was talking about. I think this is the one. It goes to the feet of Aguero here. No, it, I used I used the the uh, the dummy there. Doesn't matter. What I was going to say, you need to make sure you're getting power on these as well. The most important thing, as you'll see in a lot of the clips, is you power it quite high up. I tend to find three bars is the best way to do it. You'll learn the timing to basically get that right. But once you do... It's just guaranteed. He's hitting it so hard the goalie can't relax. But it's not skying it over like seems to be the case with powerful shots this year. You can be in the middle of the box. And if you absolutely welly this, as long as you drive it, 
it's just going to stay on the ground. It's so important to uh, to just making your finishing just absolutely sick. We've got a couple more clips now. Here's a good example of one there. Didn't have to get too far away of your player, but just roll the ball in front of you. You'll still find the back of the net. If you do this enough times, you're literally just going to keep scoring goals, and it's absolutely fantastic. This is another scrappy one. You're kind of in the box, all over the place. Force this player there. Doesn't even get much of a touch. He just puts it in front of himself, straight down the throat of the goalie, and it's in the back of the net. I can't stress enough, this is absolutely ridiculous. If you guys aren't using it, then you are seriously missing out. But that, guys, brings us to the end of this video. That's about it this year from me for tutorials, because this is just about all I'm good at. Smash the like button if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new around here. If you found it useful, drop a comment down below. I believe this guy might have rage quit. But have a fantastic day, guys, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.